Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's practice is going to be a vinyasa flow suitable for all levels with the theme of gratitude. So kind of just celebrating everything our bodies can do rather than what they cannot do. So come meet me in a comfortable seated position, however that looks like for you. And we're just going to center ourselves before we get moving today. So rest your hands somewhere that you can relax your shoulders either soften the focus onto something on the floor or close your eyes. And when you're ready, take a nice big breath in through the nose. And a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Taking a moment just to settle into your comfortable seat. Settling into the body today. Notice if your mind wants to draw you away from the practice at all. And that's okay, but see if you can coax it back to your breath and back to your body. So throughout today's practice, see if we can stay with the physical sensation. Our body is always living in this present moment. It's our mind that plays tricks. So come back to the breath. Come back to how you feel. And then setting an intention for this practice. And it might not necessarily be a word. It might be just a feeling, something that you are grateful for, a sensation that you're grateful for and you would like to cultivate. So maybe that's love. Maybe that's a feeling of home, a feeling of being at home in your own body. And allowing that to settle within you. So maybe you feel it like in the center of the chest. Maybe you feel it more down towards that like gut feeling. Finding your center and your focus for the practice. And just taking a moment to thank ourselves before we get moving for dedicating this time to looking after the mind and the body Feeling grateful that we are able to practice yoga in this way today. Knowing that when we show kindness towards ourselves, it radiates out to the people around us. So see if you can keep with that warm sensation, that warm intention that you have at the center of your body. And when you're ready, blinking your eyes open and come meet me in an all fours position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then just begin to free flow. So whatever feels good here. So maybe it's big circles with the hips. Maybe cat cow is like what you're craving today. Maybe something else. And just kind of really feel into the body. What is it craving today? Can you... Do your body the service of giving it what feels good. Nice, maybe it's all about the neck for you today, the shoulders. And what I'm doing is probably gonna look very different to what you're doing and that is totally cool. We all need different things to make us happy. Lovely. Good, then coming back to a neutral place here, tucking the toes, we're gonna to stretch out through our feet. So walking the hands back, you can always bring your hands down. If this is the service you need today, bring your hands down. Otherwise, hands up onto the thighs, shoulders roll away from the ears. Inhale, reach your hands high into the air, scoop up that energy. Exhale, bring it down towards your heart. Two more, inhale, spread your fingers. Imagine you're gathering up everything you need and bringing it back towards your heart. One more big breath in. Scooping up that intention. Exhale, bringing it down towards you. Lovely, bringing the hands down towards the mat, coming back to all fours. We're just gonna work on our core a little bit. So as you inhale, extend your right leg back in space and float your left hand forward. So radiating from your center, remember that intention held in the center, take a nice big breath. As you exhale, elbow to knee, round it in. 
Inhale, extend out, lengthen. Exhale, round it in. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, round it in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bring it on down, opposite side. So left leg extends back, holding it here for a moment and then float your left or your right fingertips off the mat. Find your center, take a nice big breath. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round, elbow to knee. Can you get that connection? Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down. Nice, spread those fingers wide, tucking toes, finding your first downward facing dog. So whatever suits you here, if you need stillness today, be still. If you need a little bit more movement through the feet, through the shoulders, totally go for it. Like have a little pedal out through the feet. Relax the head, relax the neck. And just really feel how it feels to be in your downward facing dog. What a glorious pose and what a glorious stretch for the back of the legs. How nice. Good, and then keeping the feet hip width apart, walking the hands back towards the feet. So coming into a nice dangly forward fold. Now, what would feel good here for you? Would the hands just dangling on the floor feel nice? maybe grabbing opposite elbows, maybe even interlacing your fingers behind you. And then what would feel good for you if you moved up where the weight was in your feet, maybe forwards or back, side to side. Allow the head to be heavy though, wherever you are, and the knees to be nice and soft. Doing ourselves just a little bit of service, what feels good. Nice. And then slowly walking the hands back out to a plank position. Take a breath in, hold. And as you exhale, find a downward facing dog. So sit bones into the sky. Lovely. Inhale, float your right leg high into the air. As you exhale, step that foot in between your hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Inhale, reaching the hands up. Exhale, settle the shoulders down. Nice, from here, inhale, we're gonna float our hands high overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. I am grateful for this body. Lovely, inhale, sweeping the arms up into the sky. Exhale, I am grateful for this moment. Third one, inhale, reaching the hands high. I am grateful for this. Lovely. From here, turn your hands to face one another, interlace them behind you. Big breath in, open through the heart. Exhale, humbling ourselves into a modified humble warrior. So head drops down. Allow your head to be heavy. And trust in your right foot. Your right foot really has you. So really spread through the toes. Jaw stays soft. On your next in-breath, slowly coming all the way back up. Float your hands high into the air. As you exhale, hands to mat. Good. As you inhale, step it back to a high plank. Breathe in. And as you exhale, drop the knees, the chest, the chin. Inhale, point the toes. Spread those collarbones. Lovely. As you exhale, take it back to your downward facing dog. Lovely, take a nice big breath in. And a big sigh out. Awesome, inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale to step it on through. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Inhale, come on up. And as you exhale, settle into it. So settle your hips, settle your shoulders. Find a sense of comfort here. Lovely, as you inhale, sweep your hands high, palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart. I am grateful for this body. Lovely, inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms to touch. Exhale, I am grateful for this moment. 
Lovely. Inhale, reaching the hands high. Look to thumbs. Exhale. I am grateful for this practice. Good. Turning your hands behind. Interlace your fingers. Big breath in. Exhale, humbling ourselves into humble warrior. So head is heavy. Trust that left foot. It's got you. And don't worry if you wobble and fall and all that stuff, it's totally fine. The most important thing is that we are here and we are practicing and we are grateful. Relax the head, squeeze the palms together. Lovely, as you inhale, slowly come on all the way back up, float your hands high into the air. Exhale, hands to mat. Stepping it back to a high plank on your in breath, inhale. Exhale, lower on through. Option to use the knees or full chaturanga. Good, inhale. Spread those collarbones wide. Point the toes wherever you are. Exhale, taking it back. Downward facing dog. Lovely, big breath in. Big sigh out. Nice, from here you can hop, step, float, or walk to the top of your mat. And when you get to the top, just take a nice easy forward fold again. So soften through the knees. Let your head be heavy. Mm, what would be good for you here? Maybe a sway. Maybe it's stillness. What do you need? Lovely. And then from here, heel toe your feet to the outside edges of your mat. Big toes pointing out. And then bend into the knees, coming down into a yogi squat. So you are totally welcome to keep your hands safely on the floor today. Or maybe palms pressed together, can you get the thumbs towards your sternum and prise open those hips, lovely. Maybe a little sway from side to side. Hmm. Good, and then let's take a little kind of variation here. So bringing your right hand to the right, but keep your elbow in front of your knee and then your left hand is gonna reach open. Spread your fingers, reach out, open through your heart. Lovely, take one more big breath. Exhale, hands to heart, and take a moment to reset, realign. And then bringing your left hand to the left, and your right hand reaches up. See if you get it to like 12 o'clock. Full breaths in, really opening up through the heart space. Lovely, one more big breath. Exhale, hands to heart, and then drop your head down or look down towards your thumbs. Maybe close your eyes. And just take a moment to come back to that intention. Cultivating it, feeling it in the center of the body. Lovely, take a nice big breath in. Big sigh out. Good, and then we're gonna bring our hands down behind us and take the legs out as wide as you can manage. And don't worry if like wide is, well, what you think is not that wide. Don't worry, it's all good. You can push your hips forward to find a little bit more opening. And then really relax your feet, relax your toes. Nice. Take a big breath in, sit up nice and tall. And then as you exhale, can you shift your shoulders forwards over your hips? So maybe this is enough for a lot of us, and that is fine, be here. Otherwise, if you feel like you can go a little bit deeper without moving into something that's too intense, go for it. You can even let your head drop, close your eyes, let go of the physical, and see if we can work on the sensation, finding that balance. And just allowing our body to be wherever it is today and just accepting that. And being grateful for whatever our body is doing for us for today. Relax through the jaw. And as you find you get a little bit more relaxed and comfortable within this pose, this is when we find a little bit more space maybe just a millimeter more flexibility. Flexibility doesn't come from forcing and bullying our body ever. Just kind of, <laughs> it's just kind of punishment. And yeah, like bullying our body. So we just wanna be 
nice and calm and very kind to our body and that's when we get more space, maybe. Take one more big breath in wherever you are and take a nice big sigh out. <sighs> Get slowly, slowly walking your hands back towards you. And then we're gonna close up our legs. So if you need to do it manually, bring your hands on the back of the knees to support. Otherwise, bring the soles of the feet onto the mat, knees in towards the chest for like a seated child's pose. Wrap your forearms around, let your head drop down. Seated child's pose, give yourself a little hug. Hmm. And give yourself a little cuddle. Nice. To close this practice, we're going to find a comfortable seat. So whatever that looks like for you, bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart. Close the eyes. Relax the shoulders. Take a nice big breath in, breathing down into the stomach. And then into the heart, and then as you exhale, allow the chest to drop, the tummy to drop. And just really feel the breath beneath your hands. Having this idea or feeling that we are grateful for every single breath. Let's take one more big breath in together. And let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Bringing the hands together at heart center. Bow the head to the heart. And just take a moment to give thanks to your body for always being on your side and always keeping you safe on and off the yoga mat. So taking a moment to give thanks to the practice And then come back to your intention or that sensation that you wanted to cultivate. Feeling it in the center of your body. And see if you can keep that with you for as long as possible today. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so much for sharing this gratitude practice with me. I really hope you enjoyed this flow. If you did, make sure you give a little thumbs up or leave me a comment below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.